What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of the Lunchroom Podcast. It's your boy, Dapper Dan. Of course, with me, you got my guy, Fritz. Whee! Next to him, we got my guy, Ray, a.k.a. the movie guy. Behind the cam, we got my guy, Fresco, behind the camera, you know, as you will. Um, first and foremost, like, comment, subscribe. If you're already watching this, you might as well subscribe. Hit the share button, the whole nine. Um, shout out to you if this is your first episode with us. Hope you enjoy it. And if you're just catching up with us, what up? Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do something that we don't do usually on the show, which is recap. Right, we right. usually never recap, and that's usually because like a lot of stuff. Nobody. One day we'll go like when we make it, and like not make it when we get bigger, we'll go back into like what went behind, like us get, <laughs> even linking up and how like it's frustrating it is just to get four guys to do a show. It's every definitely week. a process. It's mm-hmm. definitely a process every week. But regardless of that, um, we're just gonna start the recap with um, Meg. She's uh, spoke out probably. The update. Yeah. Did you see the IG log? Mm-hmm. I didn't see the log. I didn't see the log. I saw. Uh, I saw the clip. Yeah, clips of it. I mean, the clip is all you really need to see. Because like, what, what was it? Two episodes ago or three? Where we was like, oh, next week. You know, what I'm saying, hopefully, we find out what happens. Yeah, we two still don't know what the fuck happened, yeah. bro. We two know what happened. Ago. No, I'm saying, we but know like, what there's not an official. Nah, I can't say we know what happened. Yeah, don't have an I'm not gonna lie. I yeah. don't know what happened yet, bro. Don't have an official. Bro, there's, fucking there's, it's still a, a lot of uh, alluding. There's no concrete of evidence. Assumes, there, we, of course, absolutely. There's a lot of alluding, but there's enough alluding for me to make this a, is, a concise decision. So if you were the prosecutor in this case, this is an open shut case? Nah, I can't okay. because by law, by law, you can't make a, a, a decision off of what we know. That's what as, I'm saying. As outsiders. I, I, I don't know. But we're not prosecutors. The facts, the facts. We don't have to go by. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's find out the new information. Let's talk about the new information that we found she out. She was shot in both foot. In both, both feet. So that both, is concrete both facts. Both foot. <laughs> that, that is concrete facts that Megan and the Sounding was shot two times in both her feet. Bow, bow. bow no, bow. I think it was one in each foot. Yeah. So bow, one bullet bow. went through both feet. Nah. Uh, I, maybe I, she had a feet like this and it went through both. Oh. That. Yeah. Either way, either way, she got shot with right. a bullet in both foot. And then there was a rumor, I guess you could say there was a rumor going around right. by Adam Twenty Two, which she dis- she said, "Nah, that's not true." She did say it was not true, right? But so that cleared up that. But she never said what exactly happened either. She still just said that she got shot in both feet, and, she and she that she's traumatized. I mean, she's still maintaining her innocence in it, which I at this point believe. Because me knowing who Tori is, because this is how I know I know enough to make a concise decision. Me knowing who Tori is as a person and how much of, like, he's short, so he has that Napoleon complex, you know what I'm saying? And so he's a very outspoken individual. That is a individual. very real thing. It's very. I know a lot of people that are small that have, but very regardless. Angry. So I know that he would speak out if there were things going on that were not true. Even if he wasn't specifically, he would do something sort of like Meg, where it's like he's alluding to, like, what his truth is. But the fact that he hasn't said not a word, not a and I just found out not today. I was today years old when I found out Meg did that live on Tori's birthday. I heard. Oh, I didn't yeah, fact. I didn't right. fact check it, but I did hear it was Tori's you're birthday right, you're right. when she did the live. Because I don't know if that's on purpose on or whatever, but that was the case. Now, with that being said, I think that Meg has said enough, and Tori's silence has said enough that we can put two and two together before they release all the information. So. Uh, that's that's reasonable. It's it, like I said, it, the the facts are definitely weighing on Megan's side. Yeah. It's like this: it's like the scale really is tipping. Tori out here. Yeah. The scale is tipping. Like Tori has like this much grace before like it, it's it's completely down. I'm not gonna mm-hmm. lie to you though. I still gotta hear Tori's side whenever it comes out because I know more than likely it's probably gonna be like a lawyer statement. I don't think Tori himself is gonna come out on live more than and like say that. anything. He's probably gonna be a lawyer statement. And based on the lawyer statement, you could probably. Draw enough conclusion from there, like, all right, this man is probably not gonna. Be, it's not looking good for him. My whole thing is, what's gonna happen? Is he gonna go to jail? Is he gonna- nah, because the only charge was um, possession of a concealed weapon. Now I don't know if if they'll charge him for going forward. I don't know what if they can or will. But I think Megan going. That's the thing too. Is that that's not considered snitching, right? But mm-hmm. Megan in like the pressing charges. Like, yeah, you pressing think charges. Gonna do that. It, it's up to her. It would have been done by now. Yeah, I think. I would, I would think so. I, I think so, but we don't know what's under wraps right now. I'm not going to lie. It's under wraps. Nah, facts. It's really not looking good for Tory. Yeah. It's so crazy. Niggas started a petition to get him deported. That's facts. crazy to me, bro. They want to get Tory Lanez deported. Is it crazy? 
<laughs> That's funny to me. <laughs> it's not crazy. It's funny, but it's like I just feel like we always, as a community, always put our heaviest effort in OD on us, bro. I feel like we always do this to us. Like I don't ever, jail, right? yeah. <laughs> like, like, like just go to jail. Like why are we forcing the man to go out to Canada, bro? <laughs> We didn't do that when Drake be dropping the N word. We don't be saying like, Drake. like we don't be saying we don't. But, but Drake is black, bro. We do, but you know how people feel about Drake, Drake, and people be feeling about like the same reason why like somebody like Logic don't say the N word. You know what I'm saying? But regardless of that fact, that's a neither here nor there. Um, one thing I did want to bring up is, uh, Chrissy Teigen and Fifty Cent had, I guess they, make, they had they made, jokes yeah, for. Very, very I thought it was real tasteless on Chrissy Teigen's part. I've seen her better than this. I didn't. Even, well, what did Chrissy Teigen say? I, I don't, don't. I don't have the exact tweet, okay. but it was some. It was a very bad. Poor, it was a backhanded joke. It was a very poor taste. It was okay. in poor taste. Uh, Chrissy Teigen, she she on some next shit, bro. She just. It's been a lot of negatives. That's John Legend seeing. wife, right? Yeah. 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 But Ain't she like a drunk? She she yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every single time I see her, she's like doing some like. Drunk shit. I know last time only time I saw her in person like was on Wildin' Out. She did Wildin' Out. She was oh, yeah, wild to us. Oh, wild yeah. to That's what I'm saying. Every single time I see her, she dead wild drunk. But they they recanted their statements, apologizing for it, shit like that. And for me, it's too late for that. Like you you can't. Yo, see. listen, man. Well, you, once you tweeted it, you, you gotta let that fly. Yeah. We Fuck gonna yeah. stop slandering Fifty Cent. Y'all gotta like, stop expecting stop Fifty Cent to be a, a moral character. <laughs> nah, that yeah. man is 50 cent I expected that from When 50. do y'all ever expect that man to ever Say anything was, nice ex- or take anything seriously I expected that from 50 I saw so, that coming I see sure. people trying to get cancel all that I'm not gonna lie I'm not expecting nothing from a man that don't Fuck with a son that look just like him bro. I'm just saying Niggas not- nigga said if there's anybody that can joke about getting shot It's 50 cent It's what I'm saying bro like, come on, think about it. Nigga was shot nine times, bro. He did say sorry, too. Though. Yeah, he did. He did say yeah. sorry. Fucking Drea, they, they t- talking about she lo- lost her... Um, uh, savage. The Fenty yeah. endorsement. I see the picture still on her page, but I mean, I don't know the, the, the negotiation. I didn't see an official post or anything yeah. on that. It looked I was like, just hearsay. It looked like she lost it and Megan gained it. Cause I think nah, Meg already had one. She did? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Bro, all the big names have one, bro. Like I, I don't yeah, keep yeah. up with the now, endorsement. Rihanna, Rihanna, Rihanna did it. This She's still smart. giving them out, bro. I know people like that aren't as famous that have Fenty like ambassadors. Word? Yeah, like oh shit, that she's that covering all bases. Like shout out to the Fenty team. She's gonna shout out to Rihanna. Um, but um, yeah, Drea, she did bad because I actually tune in sometimes here and there to that podcast she was on when I'm bored. Like, and she really didn't have to say that. Like, it was a podcast with um, you know, um, Stilo Brim. He do ridiculousness with Rob Dyrdek, okay. oh, okay. the control dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. and then like Van Lathan was on, okay. and then Drea was there. They all cool. What's and, the name of the podcast? Um, Wine and Weed podcast. Oh, okay, okay. And like, I know Van Lathan got his own thing. Nah, too. yeah, but that okay. wasn't it. It was something else. Van do, but basically, like Van was trying to help her walk it back. Like, was, <laughs> like she was, <laughs> she was adamant. She's like, no, I want you to love me so much. You want to shoot me in the face? <laughs> no, like, no, I'm like, like Drea. <laughs> you seen a, you seen, you seen a uh, picture she put up in the caption? Yeah, with the it's income, just income, income, like, outcome, and. It's Shit, like yeah, and, um, the, the sign was yeah, pointing to yeah, the outcome, bro. Yeah. Like she, I'm telling you, another. Um, she, she's not there, bro. <laughs> Drea is another one. I don't know what y'all expect from Drea her. Like, the same one who left her kid at home or something like that, bro. You seen the way she cooked? Like, yeah. come oh, on, yeah. son. Like, and I remember yeah. how it was one time her son was trying to like do homework and she didn't want to help him with the home. I was like, but we got this for me. Why are we bringing down black women? For me, like, come on, son. There are some. Now there's this. some ditzy, some ditzy black women out there for yeah. me. But Dre, we gotta appreciate her for what she is. She's fine and everything. Is she black? But she's, <laughs> <laughs> she's half white, half black. She's half white. Half okay, black. okay. You see, for me. But <laughs> like, it's okay to slander her when you make a mistake. No, nah, it, it wasn't a mistake. She really meant that well, shit. Well, not a mistake. Yeah, like, when she fucked up, basically. She really meant... Th- and that's another mm-hmm. thing. For me, she living her truth. Like, that sounded like some crazy shit. She crazy might be crazy, bro. She might be crazy. And for me, she living her truth. I want a knocker for that. Uh, it's I'm not a, right. I'm a knocker for it at the end of the day, but... It's not right, but hey, it's not like she went and shot Megan in the foot. You're right. Like, the we real just, villain here is Tori. We got to find out what happened. Bro, we know what happened. No, I'm, I'm talking about 100% the story exactly. We know what happened. happened. Alright. Stop saying y'all don't know what happened. Nah, I Stop it. Know. We got to anybody listen, can turn I on. I don't know what happened though. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Why? Like, it you doesn't, know what it doesn't I'll, matter. I'll, I'll, it doesn't matter. Why. Yeah. If I can let go of Tori, y'all can let go of Tori, bro. Nigga, it's, it's not like, about letting go of Tori. It's just I just want to know what happened. I want to get the full picture. That's what I'm saying. I want to get the full picture. Like, bro. 
That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, bro, it don't over. matter no more, bro. Shout out. This is I'm trying to get the whole SVU episode, my nigga. Two, like, right now, we two, only three got weeks one ago, half I was, of the story. I was super glued. But now I see how they moving with it. And like, I, everybody just alluding, like, ooh, Meg said this. And ooh, Tony Because Tony only Meg and I'm just like, all right, cool. Like, yeah, you lost me. This is like power, bro, when they dragging the story on. Like, <laughs> he still watched it, though. I'm definitely still watching exactly. this. Exactly. You still watched it, though. He looked straight to his phone when I exactly. said that. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He kept up every single week. You seen week. the last episode and all that. Right. Uh-huh. And you might watch the new... The I don't know. I'm not watching the pilot. I'm not watching Baby Ghost. I'm not doing that. You're not that. watching Baby Ghost? No, I'm not watching He's Baby Ghost. He's going to watch the pilot, bro. He's definitely watching the pilot. I dead unsubscribe from stars. You wildin', they got P Valley now. Niggas gotta tune into the P Valley. So yeah, I know. I get stars, I'm gonna watch I might end up watching Baby yeah, Ghost. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about that. But, but um either, either way, that? I'm not gonna lie, I don't think we're ever gonna find out what happened, because the more I think about it, Megan might be a real, real chick. And I might even respect her more for that, because she dead ass could have pressed charges. Hmm. She hasn't pressed charges yet. We don't and know. And I don't think didn't. and I don't nah. If she would have pressed I mean, Tori is out on bill. Damn. See, I don't know what happened, bro. I dead don't know what happened. We gonna see, man. We gonna see. I right. dead don't know what happened. Well, moving on, since we're talking about music artists and all that, we're gonna take it to the next versus battle that's... We're gonna not spend more than two minutes on this. <laughs> it's um Rick Ross and 2 Chainz. The very, very forgetful. Niggas. We did not ask for this. I, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't ask for I, I don't know who thought... I, I don't... Swiss. Swiss. Timbo. Timbo. <laughs> we gotta... For me, we running out of we running out of ideas. We did not running out of ideas. There's so way, many options. There's so many other they, options right now. I don't know. Listen, I feel y'all like that. It's not compared to all the other verses. It's really like you shrug your shoulders at it. But y'all really wilding, bro. Bro, like, this I'm is gonna be a landslide, bro. A landslide. Yes, bro. On. Bro, do you know Ross's catalog? His catalog is fire, but Two Chainz got a nice. I don't catalog. know his catalog. Ooh. We're not talking to you because you don't. You don't, <laughs> you don't like luxury rap. If I if, if the luxury rap, I hate <laughs> niggas. Son. I hate <laughs> niggas. Son. Any time niggas talk about Rick Ross, the fraudster. He's that a fraud though. The fraudster. Bro. That's what that's what Rick Ross' name is. For. Listen, at the end of the day, the music is the music. I'm judging the music, and Two Chainz has great songs to me. And he puts out great albums, in my opinion, as well. I love he Two Chainz. Good music, bro. But it just doesn't compare to Ross's catalog over time. You gotta watch the verses, see how. No, <laughs> I don't have to. I'm dead not watching. The I'm verses. dead not watching. I'm not gonna lie to you. And, 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 and I honestly want I want Two Chainz to win, but I know he's probably not. It's gonna be. Y'all fuck with I got that so like sixteen four, bro. That's crazy. I dead got that like in a, a landslide. That's I don't even know enough Rick Ross songs to. I barely know enough Rick Two Chainz songs to go with. For me, I don't know. I don't two, know. Two chains don't gotta stay, stay scheming. He definitely doesn't. The Mercy? No Lotto. Mercy oh, might Mercy. Mercy His might, verse and Mercy. Mercy? I said he get, he has he has like four four songs. He for got him. no law. No lie. I don't know if that beats it depends on where he plays it. Yeah. That, but it depends on where you play that. Cause you know what I'm saying? Like certain songs don't hit over. I'm not gonna talk. I'm taking verses. birthday over stay scheming. I mean, like I said, it depends <laughs> on where you I got a lot of good memories know. to birthday. <laughs> I got yeah, a lot of love memories yeah, to birthday. Yeah, I mean, what that's is your scheming. bias, you feel me? That's not, it's your bias, you feel me? Fed's watching is a good drink. Fed's watching is weak, though. But you're like, saying, you compared like, compared to, to, to like, I'm talking songs. hits, hits. Like, good drink is a hit, hit, but like, I'm telling you, once y'all see, that shit is a hit, when y'all see Ross pull out some good shit, weak, y'all gonna be like, oh, damn. Y'all gonna be like, damn. I'm, I'm a, I'm a, when Ross pull out, I think I'm big. I don't know. Larry Hoover. I'm gonna tune it. I'm with the work. That's but, probably one. That hallelujah. song and hustling is probably one of the few Rick Ross songs I actually like. I forget Stay Scheming is Rick. I Rick got Rose that Justin Bieber. Please believe, song, believe nigga, it. Nigga, like, come on, son. Justin Bieber. Please believe it. That's your Martin music. We don't even be acknowledge Rick Ross. That's not Rick Ross song, son. Bro, I don't want to spend That's too much time Rick here. Rose. I'm on one. It's not even a Rick Ross song. Yo, I, I must say, I like I. I think Snoop Dogg beat DMX. Nah. And I, I must say, you were wrong. Nah, nah. I think, he, I think it was very close, though. I think, I think it was very close, but I don't think Snoop. It was definitely close. I, I feel like it was like like 11 9 type shit. Like, nah, I, if, if anything, I'd say I'm giving it. I'll probably give it 12 8. DX. I'll probably give it 12 8. I think Snoop won, bro. Honestly. Because, I mean, for me, like, I love the West Coast sound, but. To a degree. And like yeah. some of Snoop shits and like some of the shit he brought out. Yeah, the they verses, them West Coast they, Coast shits, that's the ones he loves. They some of them, some of them sound a little too similar for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna hold you. I think Snoop kinda let him get the edge though. That's another reason why I think DMX won. You think so? Because he didn't play a lot of like he didn't play sexual seduction. He didn't play uh what else didn't he play? He got another song he didn't play. 
I can't remember right now. Yeah, living my best life. <laughs> no, he could have played that. He dead could have. See, so like, that's what I'm saying. I feel like he's kind of um, like. I mean, that's 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 just me. Oh, he didn't play "Drop It Like It's Hot." He did. I don't think he played that. Uh, I don't remember him playing that. I did. And I watched it again. Yeah, I did not remember him playing "Drop It Like It's Hot." See, he did. Like, he did. I don't know who compiled his um thing though. Like, I don't know who compiled the song. Nah, he did good. Like, yeah, he did a good job. I just don't know. I don't. It's kind of corny. I've noticed. I, I've noticed lately since they switched to the Apple though. It's kind of corny that when what? they. Put out the list, like you know, the playlist with both teams. Those are kind of the songs you should expect. Like they're not really gonna go outside of that. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's tough when you take, start taking those deals because sometimes you gotta start. That's what I'm saying. Going it it kind of like I didn't know. The thing is, if it's not gonna be a song that's gonna be on Apple, it's like, are they gonna play it? I didn't think about that. That you know makes sense. Why they wouldn't want to play? I hope that's it. not like that's hate. that's trash. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of trash. I, to me. I've noticed that though. Like they the, since then, like the DMX songs were the same songs basically on his playlist. So. I liked it better when I didn't know what songs they were gonna play because it gave you the surprise factor. But I could easily play the playlist before and I'll know what to expect. Right. Um, just don't play well, it. Yeah, nah, nah. I wasn't. I'm just saying I did that. I made the mistake to do that before and I noticed that. Mm. Then I checked the Fab and Jada shit and it was the same thing. Mm. So um, going forward, uh, there was a quick debate on Twitter. Me, I participated in it. Ray participated in it. Oh, um, the stage video. Hmm? The stage video? Oh, you're not talking about the mom? Nah, bro. I'm talking. I'm still in music, bro. Oh, my fault. We're still. We're still I'm talking sure. about. I'm talking about Breezy versus Ush. Oh. Oh man, don't get me started. Now we bro. gotta get started on. Now, this. so here's where. If anybody knows me, you know me personally. You know, Breezy probably like one of my favorite artists ever. One of, not the best. One of my favorite artists ever. <laughs> so like, I hold him in a high regard. Now. Over while looking at Usher's catalog, and I'm looking at Breezy's catalog, which I know of most of it by, <laughs> by heart. But you know, what I'm saying I'm looking at both of their catalogs, going through. Obviously, Chris got mixtapes, got to go through those. And the more I looked at it, the more I didn't even like the matchup, because I think Chris shouldn't do the verses, not just because he doesn't want to do it, but because I think Chris has transcended too many different layers of music. Like his sounds, like his hits sound. are in so many different categories. You can't really class him against one person. I, do I think Chris can hold his own against pretty much anybody? Yes. But I don't think you can class him against like an Usher because Usher has about, I'm not gonna lie, like as far as major hits compared to Chris, I think Chris has that. But in terms of the type of people that listen to verses in a, that age group, they're not checking for the hits that Chris is gonna have to play. That's where I think Chris loses that verses because the, the verses, because, because think about it. Usher has a lot of songs that people, because the people that watch verses are people that were checking for Teddy Riley versus Babyface. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That people that check for Teddy Riley versus Babyface are not checking for most Chris Brown songs. But Especially the hits. This sounds me, like a very safe answer. Let me let me say this though: if Chris Brown does a verses, all his people's, all the young people, I'm saying. are gonna tune in, bro. All right, but the thing is. Yeah, but I, like we grew up with both essentially. I don't but think age group age group. Chris's matters, music but it depends was, on the was Chris's music low key matched his age. Like Usher came out on a grown tip. Chris came out on some like bro. Uh, a little Chris more. Chris Brown has grown grown baby makers too. He does like probably yeah, a but, lot. That was a bad point I seen. What's a Usher wedding song? My boo. That's, that's a wedding song. That's a we- you could dance it. So no air wedding. and superhuman is not a wedding song. Superhuman not you, a wedding song. No 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 no. No air. You could you could. No superhuman, air is a but song, superhuman is to me is better than no air, and that's a wedding song. You could do that. I, I wouldn't consider my boy a wedding song. I wouldn't do a wedding dance to no air though. But I see what you're going. But for. But I'm saying, like, I see what you're you going for. Play, like, you could you could play. You could, you could play. I'm not gonna hold you. My boy is probably like I would not expect that to be Usher's wedding song. I'm not gonna hold you. I mean, I gotta go through to see what I was playing. Because again, if, that, if my boo is a wedding song, because my thing is, Asha, is Asha, has, song. Asha has "There Goes My Baby," which is a very good song to me. You that's know what I'm nice saying? Nice. Well, you can play that already. Nah, yeah, yeah, that's, Th- yeah, that's a that, great that song. That was one of those songs where with me, you, but but oh yeah, I, you know what I'm saying? With but you, you gotta understand with, with you. Young, I I'm that on y'all side. I feel the same way. But you gotta figure who's judging That's definitely a wedding song, nah, bro. What you gotta see who's judging? Whoever said that is dumb. Who's judging this? People aren't going to be like, people are going to, like, you, you know how people love to hold on to 8701 and confessions. Like, they're going to ride that sound to Usher's victory because they're going to be like, yo, Usher's, Usher's winning this because of the sound. Uh, Chris has a more of a, a 
a young person's appeal to his I sound. I hear what you're saying. So when the people who are judging this versus battle, which is majority people, probably 35 and up. Where'd you get that gun- number from? For what? I, I always say the age group depends on the artist. For yeah. me, so like the, yeah. the whole Teddy and Babyface thing, like the Teddy and Babyface thing, I saw a little bit of it. But I knew that was a whole thing going into it where, like, everyone was like, oh, your mom and pop's going to get dressed to watch this, for me? dressed she, to me, watch They was like, oh, we going to go out, like, for me, they going to get... That's how excited they are because this is their age group. Mm-hmm. This is for them, for me? Nah, that makes sense. So, like, the same thing for Erica Badu and Jill Scott. Like, that, I'm, that, I'm not going to expect a whole bunch of men yeah. to go watch that specifically. This right here is... Bro, Chris Brown's fan group is vast. There's grown people... There's young people that's younger than us. Yep. There's us that came but, out and watched them grow. Usher too. Usher probably got for me. He got old heads. He got us. I don't even think younger kids really listen to Usher like that. So I don't expect the younger kids to go watch Usher. But what that what Usher has more of the older older sounds. Chris has the youngest sound, so it kind of evens out. I don't know that it evens out because my thing is. I think it evens out. I feel like. That's what a clash is. That's why I always, my my statement was like, I don't even think Chris should do verses, period. Because I feel like he has... Nah, his, Chris has he, to do a, a so verses because his catalog, like he says, to me, our whole thing is, ever since the incident, he don't really get the flowers he's he's due. Yeah. Of course. No matter, no matter what he does at this point. Chris has the song of the sum, has one of the songs of the summer almost every summer. And it, it, we, we, people are still talking about Chris makes the same song That's what I'm year. saying. I could attest to that. I've seen the disrespect that because of what happened, the, he don't get his flowers. So the fact that people like, don't get me wrong, Usher is up there. Usher Not, is definitely top Richard, five This is army. versus, bro. You have to be a monster to get into this. Usher is Usher. He has confessions. Don't get me wrong. But like, if you really think about it, outside of confessions, yes, he has hits on the other two albums that came before that. But let's not act like that's confessions. I'll give the argument for Chris is that the argument I saw going around wasn't a wedding song. It was he don't really have a classic album, which is I'll, not the verses. That's not verses though. That's not what we talk. That's not what the verses is. Yeah, you, so that doesn't matter. You're right. But like I said, I just really was going through all the features, Chris Brown's features, Chris Brown's songs from his catalog, all that. He has way more songs than Usher. That's that's another event. He has way more songs than Usher to choose from. And feel me? Like, Usher, I feel like outside of Confessions, he's going to run out because he's going to start playing B-sides. And then what? He's going to go into Hot top, hot, hot Thotty? Uh, nah, that's what was terrible. That's what I'm saying. Like, feel me? That you was know, probably Hole's worst verse. I said nah, nah, this. If you, that, Wait, I do gotta, I know, is that the same verse? I'm thinking, I, think, I might be thinking about a different verse. Though. I was going to say, nah, that whole verse was tight. I, 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 got, I'm going front. I, got a, I might be thinking of a different verse. The whole put out this, a bad verse on somebody. So I said time. this earlier today in the crib, and I'm going to say it again. There's nobody, in my opinion, there's nobody that can match up against Chris Brown in the verses alive aside from R. Kelly. I didn't want to say his name. Yeah. And dead Michael Jackson. I think Drake can match up. I was about to say I'm, so I'm not gonna account Drake could I definitely think, match up with I think but that's, that's the heavyweights. Two diff- that's like two different sounds though. Nah. Right? Nah, I nah. think Drake might they, be the they best matchup. Bo- I was well, gonna he, say he has, he has a, a rapper R and B. That's what I'm saying. His yeah, sound. So I, I think Drake Ooh, might be the that, best yeah, matchup, Drake, but you're Drake not you're be, not getting Drake to do a versus. Yeah, Drake would probably be the only person. That's why I say I don't think he should do one because I think Chris his body of work needs a somebody that matches his body of work, somebody that transcended sound but throughout Drake, their career. But Drake and Chris Brown, they, they can't do just twenty songs. Not like their song they actually might be a forty song again, forty songs. But the thing is you shit. can't judge forty songs. Like how do you remember what he played in yeah. round five if you do forty songs? Twenty that's, songs is tough, that's bro. A lot of songs are gonna get left that's off. Why but more point to my reason why Chris probably shouldn't even do a versus. Cause no. like Chris said himself, he could do a versus of features just his features, bro. Good body niggas up just his features. That's, a fact. that's what I'm saying. Like, niggas can't That's what I said. Like, Brown, yo, bro. don't get like, me no wrong. Usher is up there top five R&B. I would never disrespect Usher. But in my my humble opinion, I don't really think he's better than Chris Brown. Niggas get lost I don't on even the think he's better than Neo. Niggas get lost on the story. I don't think, I don't think don't Usher's think better, better than Neo. Nah, because Neo writes his songs. He does write. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Neo has written. Like, a when Neo when, when yeah, against John, Neo against John Tay Austin opened my eyes. Because I was already a Neo fan, but I was like, Oh shit! Like I forgot about that. Bro, oh shit! I knew he wrote be- that. Like I didn't know. I've been knew about Neil, bro. Like, that nigga Neo's is really nice with it. Neil is my guy. Really, really nice with it. Nah, really ne- Neil came out of nowhere with mad talent. I remember you're the gentleman. That was the first R&B album I ever bumped from top to bottom, bro. That's why I said it on Twitter. I was like, Yo, Usher's the the Nas of R&B. Mm. <laughs> the nigga only has one classic album, mm. and then that's it. Yes. That's what he's known for. Wow. That's a comparison of. A lifetime. I'm not wow. gonna lie. I'm not, I'm not mad at it either. Yeah, I never, it's not a I'm, really. I'm not it's, mad at it's, it's not an insult. It's a backhanded compliment. Yeah, it's yeah. like 
I, I hear you. I hear you. Because it's like, you're still great. You're still nobody. That's what I'm saying. And you've put out songs after that. You put out, you've had great bodies of work after that. It just hasn't been classics. At all. So, no, 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 no. After Confessions, I feel like it was a dramatic fall off. I mean, but that's all my thing. I'll I take should, the I two albums change before his... Confessions. Those were great albums, too. Yeah, I mean, he still had hits, though. Like, it, yeah, like, yeah. He tried to mess with the sound of the time, you know what I'm saying? Got his little Once that nigga started doing that techno stuff, I was like, yeah, I don't know. It's not oh, for me. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 <laughs> my God. Chris Brown's have sounded way better on them techno beats. Bro, that's what I'm saying. Chris Brown just has too much. Hey, come on. Beautiful Chris people? Chris Brown's in tech. Beautiful people's crazy. Crazy. Fire, people's bro. crazy, bro. Bro, I watch that video all the time. Beautiful bro. people, bro. Like, what is, he, what is Usher going to play when people? OMG? No. <laughs> no, top that, nigga. It's wild. But oh, yeah. I'll just leave it right there. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. Because I don't beautiful think he would lose, in my people. opinion. I just feel like the... The vast majority of those who are judging it would say because of what they nah. hold Usher to be He's and who they hold Chris Brown to be and his sound, they're gonna be like, "Well, this grown sound is gonna beat." He smoked. Chris Brown song was the music video when he went into space and he died. Um, on the 2012 album. Uh, damn, damn, damn! I know this. Song. That song was fire too. I don't wanna go to. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, please don't judge me. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Like, he did he please play that song? That, that was for Rihanna, wasn't it? Like his apology. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 it was Crawl. Crawl was fire. Yeah, yeah it was Crawl. Nah, yeah, Crawl is a yeah. Yo, you see what I'm saying? Crawl is a track. Yo, point of the matter, the point of the matter is give that man his flowers, <laughs> man. Nah, that, that, give that, that, that man his flowers. If anything, <laughs> give, give that man his flowers. If Rihanna could forgive him and she glowed up to Fenty, goats make that those. No, no, do they goats? Bah. That's a sheep. That's nah. a goat. Now that's goats. A sheep. I know. That's a sheep. That's a sheep. <laughs> I know goats like scream like humans. You ever seen them? Like them shit be having me weak. Ghost dead scream like human beings. <laughs> you ever seen like I'm gonna, one day I'm gonna look at a video. <laughs> I know exactly. What Ghost scream. About. But yo, I can't, I can't, I can't stay it too long. We you know we got a time budget. Um, shit, where do we go next? Um, we gonna move on from music. Uh, let's go into Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones Jr. Oh man, goddamn. So <laughs> yeah, you the you the finally. Boxing guy. You know what I'm saying? Team. After uh, this was this was one of the smartest ploys. I mean, it's not really a ploy, but this is one of the smartest uh, advertising techniques I've ever seen personally. Mm. Mike Tyson knows his name. It's like when you hear Mike Tyson, you 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 think of when you think of boxing, you think of Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali. Like there's particular Sorry. names you yeah. think of. Nance, you know after you know his story, drugs, all that. He starts posting these videos of him training like a motherfucker every other week, every <laughs> month, and then. You fucking make a fight with Roy Jones Jr. It's, he started his own league. I think it's called the Legends Only League or some shit like that. Mm. Um, this oh, is this is gonna that. be, yeah, bro. This shit know. gonna be on pay per view, so you know this is gonna sell so he, stupid. So it's like the big three of boxing. I don't know. Well, how, I don't know how. He's, that's why, I, bro. I don't. I, I think it's cool. Don't get me wrong, but I'm face scared, bro. I, I don't know. Yo, I, I don't want somebody see, dying. Yeah, I, don't see, I, I, I honestly that. don't think it's gonna be on some shit like that. I feel like it's gonna be I more of a sparring. Get Apollo Creed out here. I I I hear what niggas you mean. get Apollo Creed out here, bro. But <laughs> he went from you know what I'm saying posting videos on Instagram to dead ass. He's gonna make millions of dollars off this fight. Did they and release any money? Any contract to Nah, not money? yet, not yet. They just the location and the date mm -hmm. and the opponent, obviously. But I feel like that shit is gonna destroy pay per view, like no, nah, uh, I'm and all that bro. Thing. It's Mike Tyson, bro. It's gonna get views. I'm just scared for people's health. I hear what you mean. Yeah, bro. I don't know about how I feel about the Legends Only League, but this fight, I'm definitely tuned in. Eight rounds, I'm I'm cool with that. And I'm more saying? concerned about Roy Jones to keep it a band with you. That, yeah, Roy Jones me? been getting. I don't know. He's, he was losing yeah. at the end of his career. <laughs> yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. But, I'm like, I don't know. But I'm, after he peaked, I think he peaked at like 36 and one. He still went like 19 and seven. Like. After that, so yeah, true. Sometimes we be holding the losses too much against yeah, the Broncos. Like it don't be like nah, but he's been on. He was right in the couch. Like bro, I, I haven't mean, seen. He retired. He retired not too long ago. Yeah, but he was still fighting for a good minute. But at the end of the day, this I feel like this is not gonna really be some on some shit where they trying to fucking oh, they knock just each to other's heads off. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be more so trying you know sparring, seeing what's up. I mean, I don't really can't really play no, yeah, no, no. But I'm saying that I don't feel like it's gonna be or like it's cause you know how when Mike was uh releasing those videos, people was like, Oh, I wanna see him against Tyson Fury, like just having mad different types of names. Like but some shit like Tyson that, he would have really had to focus Tyson on Tyson Fury. Would kill that yeah, yeah, beat the shit out of Mike Tyson right now. Bro. <laughs> yeah, he could kill that nigga, bro. But, I'm, not like, I'm not gonna lie, bro. 
the height I just feel like alone. I just feel like it's a it's a great matchup because they're both similar in age. Mm-hmm. They both can fight around the same weight. So I just feel like it's gonna be a cool event. And fucking Nate Robinson's gonna fight uh Jake Jake Paul, Jake Paul who's a famous YouTuber. I want to see that because I want to see Nate Robinson beat him up. Now, I I got my money. Nate on Robinson. Robinson. I said if somebody's finally. I got- like, oh no, he he had, he had one fight. He fought some other YouTube. Yeah, one fight. I didn't yeah. see it, but I think he fought some other YouTube. I thought that was Logan before. Paul. No, nah, Logan Logan Paul was uh, he sparked it, but his brother had a fight too. Like uh, after that, I don't know nothing about these polls. <laughs> they some YouTube. Yeah, they, I don't. I personally never watched their yeah, videos. I just but they're know super of them. popular. Yeah, like they got okay. like fifty million. You talking about Caucasian people? I don't really. That's why I get. The, listen, I don't dive into their content. I just know who they are. Well, yeah, regardless of that though. I want to see Nate Robinson in the motherfucking ring, and and I'm I, I got my money on Nate. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet on it's Nate. a big height difference, age difference, or whatever. Black. But he's too damn strong. Like he he's going Nate is just an athletic ball of muscle. Barbecue bro. ribs, bro. He gonna hit him in his ribs like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Nate, I, like Nate, never really boxed. I don't think in his life, but I think if anybody can pick it up and win a fight, it would probably be Nate. <laughs> That's a fact. Because Nate is just mad athletic. Like he's he mad was athletic. like five eight, Dunkin', bro. Like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, football like, too. Not even Played, those, and he was a great he was a great football player and um. But like it's like College. with that fight, do y'all want to see any particular fight? Because I feel like it's gonna be a lot of celebrities. I, f- I heard that it's gonna be boxers versus MMA fighters. Like it's gonna be a real wacky type of lineup. Oh, so is there anybody that y'all would want to see? I gotta see Conor get back in the ring. He's not gonna get back in the ring for that though. Kinda not an event fight. like that. I'll see my son Chuck Liddell. I used to fuck with him heavy. Yo, you Chuck Liddell. But who would he fight? Because Chuck Liddell tied at like forty something. I'll see that. Bro, they fought like 80 times. Tom, bro. I'm, I'm still watching it again. Yeah. Chuck Liddell already retired like at the edge, edge of his end. Like, I didn't like, really want to Chuck Liddell was never supposed to be as nice as he was. He just had that killer, killer knockout. It was a flying Superman punch, bro. I feel like we're going to see at least one more um, celebrity matchup. We're too. probably going to see a couple more. I'm more, I'm more concerned about the, the, the real older, boxing yeah. fights. Yeah, nah, like, that's what I'm trying to see. <laughs> But I mean, hey man, so I, I feel like I feel like it's gonna be an exciting, an exciting event to see. It's I'm definitely gonna tune in. I'm OD tuning in for the free. You know that shit. No pay per view. <laughs> allegedly, 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 <laughs> right, allegedly. Um, all right, so moving forward, quick 180. Uh, Boondocks reboot is on here. Yeah, man, I had to. I wanted to just because I don't feel like a lot of people know the backstory about the whole Boondocks reboot. I don't know what's going on with it to be honest. So HBO Max picked it up. It's supposed to be coming out, I think, next year, some shit like mm-hmm. that. Um, but the reason why I wanted to talk about it is because of how foul niggas did J.D. Witherspoon, who's the late John Witherspoon's son. Mm-hmm. Um, J.D., he auditioned for the for the show to honor his father. Uh, he played a clip of the... I know how J.D. sounds because he's done it before, like, mimicking his father. He sounds exactly like him, bro. The shit is, like, it's scary. It's scary. I mean, if you grow up with somebody, you're going to... That's like, he really knows how to mimic, like, the pop's voice. Like, all, all of it. Like, O.D., bro. Um, and he played, like, a little clip of his shit or whatever. And he was just... Uh, it was, like, a long YouTube video, but long story short, he uh, was basically saying how he... When he auditioned, he didn't feel like he did the best. And he wanted to redo like his take or whatever, which is normal for auditions. Mm-hmm. But the people that were there were like, "No, that was great. You don't need to do that again. That was perfect." Mm-hmm. Um, those same people were not contacting him. Mm-hmm. Like he kept trying to contact people. Like, "What's the word? Can I know how I did?" Blah blah right, blah. Right. Um, they were giving him like um, back and forth answers. Like, "Oh no, you did great." Oh, like basically not cl- clarifying if he has the role or not. And then eventually they gave it to somebody else. And they, he doesn't know who this person is. They won't let him know who it is. We don't know if he sounds like Pops or not. They said that they might modify this nigga's voice. Like, it's it's just crazy to me that you wouldn't want to get the son of such an important character involved in the show. Like, Is Aaron McGruder still involved in this? I'm not too sure if he is. That would explain why. Yes, what I'm saying. Like, if Aaron McGruder is absent from this whole process, that... Could be a big. I might not part. even watch it if he's not involved. I mean, season four. I don't think he was involved. Was he involved in season four? He wasn't. He wasn't mm-hmm. right. But season four was I right. like it wasn't like the best. Of I remember. The, I remember when they were talking about the reboot though that he was involved. Yeah, though. he was supposed to be involved. So now, and one of the biggest things was like he was like he didn't say the name, but he said there was this one important person that uh, if he said if J D Witherspoon isn't involved with the shit, then I'm not gonna. Like, I don't want it to go type shit. And then um, basically when he, J.D. Witherspoon got in contact with this person, he was like that he had no idea that they didn't pick him. Like, it was mad just 
miscommunication. Yo, and Charlie Murphy not here no more. Yeah, Charlie Murphy's not there. Yeah. Probably Samuel Jackson's probably not gonna be involved because Charlie Murphy's not in there. Like it's just, it's gonna be a lot. I mean, are y'all are y'all, are y'all still gonna I'll check in? it out. I'll check yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll I mean just gonna... for Nostalgia sake. Yeah, I gotta see like the 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 I guess the trailer they put out to see what they yeah. see what characters they hit and what, what storyline. Some modified pops his voice, bro. I, I, I shit don't sit right with me, my nigga. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I, I definitely would have preferred. I, I think so too. That would have made sense if they dropped the character and just like. But I just feel like Pops is so he's, important. He's mad to important. To the I was show, gonna say. Right? I, Jennifer Lewis is ready to do it on. Yeah, that would have been very, cool. True, and I would have loved to hear Jennifer Lewis do it. It's very right. rare in Hollywood when like somebody, a, like a big character like that, actually dies in real life. Like mm. when the show or anything like, bro, his son fully recovers. His son would have been perfect for it, bro. Like, yeah, I gotta check out his. I'll fucking, check it out. I never for me. I, oh, yeah, I bro, never he sounds really heard just it. like. But him, I can bro. imagine it's your father. Like you spent your whole life with him. You could That's probably serious. mimic it, mimic him to a T. It just sucks that they, you know, put him through that. Yeah, but I mean, we'll see. I'll definitely check it out. I'm not opposed to checking out, checking it out. But if I'm not feeling it, I won't. I was definitely gonna watch it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'll give it a season. Straight. They don't got a date yet. I think it's 2021. Uh, not like a particular date. Don't okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right, I think that just wraps up. Oh, actually, uh, we can throw this in real quick. I don't want to spend too much time because we got other stuff to go to. But Emmys. Oh, they yeah, <clears throat> they just announced the uh, nominations for the Emmys of 2020, and basically. Leading the leading the pack is Watchmen, Watchmen with twenty eight nominations. I haven't finished it yet, but you didn't finish Watchmen, bro. Bro, I tell you, I don't be watching TV. Bro. Nah, 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 nah. It's a limited series. It's only eight episodes, my nigga. How long did episode? Hour? It's like forty, forty five to an hour. Okay. Yeah, the rate I, 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 I know you've been telling me to watch it for bro. a minute. I have not tuned in, but now, now that he want to tune in. I, I done, I've done that before though. Like last year, I think. Secession won won the Mad Golden Globes, and I wa- I tuned in because of that because I used to see it flowing around. Mm. Secession is valid. It's also they were also nominated for some Emmys. And Netflix has the most uh not um, nominations for a network of all time. I think yes. it's like a, like one hundred. It's some rocky know. number. It's they a rocky it number. They got they got the the most. I know in second place they say um in second place is Ozark with like I think nineteen or twenty nominations. Okay. Um. The character Jason Bateman, mm-hmm. I think that's his name. Yeah, he's nominated for Emmy for best uh, actor in a drama series. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out Issa Rae, she's also nominated for uh, best actress in a comedy series. Mm-hmm. I know you watch Better Call Saul. That's nominated for outstanding drama series. Oh, shit. I keep hearing about The Crown. I I haven't watched it, but mm-hmm. I might tune in now because I've I've been hearing it for a couple years. People say The Crown is good. That's on. Sounds on Netflix. It's on Netflix. Yeah. The Crown is on Netflix. Uh, Little Fires Everywhere is nominated for Best know. Limited on, Series. It's on Amazon. Hulu. Oh, I, I was on Amazon. It's not Amazon. Zoe Kravitz? Mm-hmm. No, no, nah, no, no. It's, um, nah, Zen, that, that's Zen. not the Zoe Kravitz joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's that. the Zendaya shorty from, like, Star Trek or whatever her name is. <laughs> the the, the, the <laughs> Co- Co- Colombiana? I forgot. I don't know. Zoe Saldana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I definitely forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a day of day shorty. I just heard a little fires everywhere. I know it's on Netflix. Nah, I know it's, it's on a, Hulu. It's a big popular show. I, I, I heard about it, yeah. so that's why I, I, I forgot. That's not the show with Carrie Washington. I think she's in there. Yeah, she's in there. That's not. Yeah, I think that's the show. It's we should Kev- get the ugly ass face and shit. Yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, nah. That's yeah. American Son. Oh, that is American. That's Son. American oh, Son. But I think she's. I think she's in. Yeah, but she's in that show too. Yeah, yeah. She's in that show. American Son is actually nominated as well for I think best uh for television movie. I'm mm. seeing a television movie. Listen, man, if you haven't watched Watchmen, please go watch it. It's on HBO. It's only eight episodes. It's a limited series. There's a reason why it has so many Emmy nominations. It's one of the best my shows son, made last year for a fact. Shout out my son Don Cheadle, nominated for comedy series. Facts. Uh also Mashara Ali for True Detective. Uh I gotta still I gotta tune into that. Yeah, True Detective is good. Season one. Season one. I, I haven't watched season three, but I might finish it. Don't watch season two. I repeat, do not watch season two. <laughs> no, listen to do not funny, waste yo. your time at all with uh, that bullshit they yeah, came out with. That's tough. Um also, like I said, watch out watch out for Secession. I feel like Secession they got nominated uh the father and son. I I don't know their real names, but the father and son for the show got nominated for Emmys. So yeah, man, good TV, good TV. I think I've been paying more attention to TV late, like past couple of years than movies. Movie. I mean, yeah, me yeah, too. Movies ain't really been 
The slappers. That's what I'm saying. They keep making non-originals. They yeah, just keep like, remaking everything. Yeah, so lacking creativity. In but the, the TV game is definitely going in. For sure, right. for sure. I'm probably watch Watchmen after I finish Sopranos. You you on episode what like six of Sopranos? Nah. I'm on season four right now. Oh, no, that was my shit. That was, somebody was watching it on my profile. Okay. No, it wasn't you. I was not watching it. I keep coming back to, I keep yeah. coming back to Sopranos. You, you finished Sopranos? I was going to say. Because I never, I never could finish it, but I've kept finally come back to it after the Netflix Mafia shit. It's wavy now. Like, I don't know what it is. It's wavy now. All right, so to segue into this, we should have talked about this before, but I kind of just peeped it. Are we doing two What Would You Rathers or are we going to swap Fredo's for this one or are we going to keep... What, what are we doing? We I'll take Fredo's. Yeah, we do Fredo's? Yeah. All right, Fredo, um, deliver the What Would You Rather for me. I need the mic coming. All right. Yeah, this way, just turn your... Yeah. This way joint is type, type loud. All right. <laughs> All right, straight. All right, fellas. So, this week's What Would You Rather, very crazy. Would you rather find out that after 20 years... The child that you thought was yours wasn't yours. Or would you rather walk in on your wife with two guys fucking her at the same time? Getting double pounded? I'm going with the kid after 20 years. Bro. That's crazy. The DP is crazy. You a good man. I agree. You the a DP's good man. Because to me, it's like, with the kids, like, yeah, like you can't nah, beat that. Y'all right. good people. Like it sucks I that it's not really, really my seed, people. but at the same time, it's like y'all. that's basically my seed at this point. I hear y'all. I'm going as as. Crazy that is gonna scar your bro, mind, bro. bro. Crazy, You're never crazy. gonna be able to live that down. I'm out. I, but I, I that's won't. That's what I'm saying. That's, I, that's you even doesn't solve the problem. Bro. That's easy to just put in the past. Listen, that's man. not easy to put in the past. I, I would you will have the... severe trust issues bro, for the rest of your life. That's a fact. <laughs> Listen, but. I would, and I won't wait to find kids. out my son not mine. Exactly. <laughs> what? Exactly. Nah, but I can see Bro, why you're... Every kid after that, I'm going to be like, yo, this shit might not be mine. There's reasonings to like, to hold that information. Listen, you... Like, yeah, like, niggas... Like 20 years past, I'm an old man. You feel me like... Yeah, like nah, yeah, nigga, nigga this is not my like, son. Yo, I don't know. Maybe it's a Leo thing, bro. I don't know. Yo, listen, I, I watched... Too, I, growing up, I watched too much Maury, nigga. To, to foot, and I always said, Look yo, at his nose! I always said, yo, that's one of the worst things a woman can do to a man, bro. I don't think to, so. You what? dead ass find to out dead ass, yo, your bro, son is not yours bro. after 18 or 20 if, if years. If your shorty dead ass knows that's not your seed, and she makes you raise the nigga, not saying nothing, you, oh yeah, this is my little nigga. Uh, uh, 20 years, you find out that's not yours. Bro, that's that's worse than heartbreak, bro. Everything happens for a reason. Nah, Maybe I was what? necessary in that child's life, bro. That's the way I look at it. <laughs> what? Nah, I was necessary in that bro. child's life, bro. Real rap, I'm not trying to see too many. Me that's neither. Nobody trying to see that. I don't want to see that. It said, what would you rather? I'm taking that, <laughs> nigga. I'm taking my bitch. Because the thing is, I mean, if you're talking about after two years, after two, three. What are they talking if about, you talking bro? after two, bro. if you talking after two, three years, yeah, I'm tight. But after twenty years, I love that kid, bro. Twenty years, I love that kid at this point. <laughs> at, after three years, it's like I loved him, but it's like I now, I hear what you, now I have, you love that woman. You walking in, she's sucking two dicks. <laughs> what the I, love, I, I took out the. <laughs> <laughs> I took out the. Boy, boy, like I said, I'm not yo. I'm gonna be so tight if I raise somebody like, like else's child and I didn't I know, love, bro. I love that kid. I will love yeah, that kid. That is your child at this point. No, 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 no. It is. It's like a stepchild at this point, bro. No, but yo, it's your child. I was lied to though. You were cheated on for twenty years. I cheated. Yo, I was like, did a dick in the mouth and dick in the pussy. Bro, I was about to get cheated on for one night. Did a dick in the pussy and dick in the mouth. Twenty years. I get cheated on for one night and get locked up for 20 years. 20 years, bro. Bro, but he needed, she needed the help, clearly, Don't bro. Don't smack. She needed, she needed, needed the help. help. What? You she needed, she you needed, needed two dicks. You were kidding me, two dicks. Point blank, period, nigga. Shut up. Nah. 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 Nah.
And now, and now, and now, now you'll never like live it down. Now, now you'll never live it down. What? Now you'll never live it down, I'm never bro. living down yeah. the fact that I raised somebody else's child. No, yes, you will, because you was, love that bro. child. I would, you don't know what it is to not, love a child. You don't know what it is to love a child, bro. I You don't even know what it is to love a child. I don't know what it is to love a child. I know it's different than loving a woman. You know what I'm saying? What? Yeah, you don't know what you're for 20 years. Your crazy, wife? Because it was your wife, right? Crazy, your wife. You said vows and you walk in and she is fucking two and niggas. Your wife, that is not and you. And then your wife had a baby I with said, another I, nigga and made you raise the child? Wife. She didn't, exactly. That's, that's, that's it could, exactly. That's even better. That's easy, dead. I'm not fucking with her no but more. But I'm saying, like, if we I'm together. Easy, dead, dead. If it's just one baby mom, you thought it was your baby mom. I thought it was wife for both situations. If it's my baby, if it's a baby and I thought it was my baby and like it's not nah, my baby and I find out in three years, that's still bad, I'm cool, though. I'm off even that. If it's but 20 ba- years, I done watched him grow up, I done put a basketball in his hand, I done been to basketball, bro, I done be, bonded yeah, with the game. Be, that's still gonna be, I might not be cool with the wife or bro, the girl no more. I might mean, not be crazy. cool with her, like, like I can't trust her as much no more because I'm just like, yo, you really did that? And like, she might, her excuse might be there was no good time to bring it up at this point. What the fuck? But, that's no, not that's, a valid excuse. That's not no, a valid excuse, but that's way better than the wife who I courted. Right, I spent gosh. money on a ring. I, I did all that. Yo, you're a good, you were, you're for a good you man, bro. You're Russell Wilson. It's all right. I understand. <laughs> you Russell Wilson, bro. y'all bro. are wild, bro. Yo, yeah, I, I don't understand wild, why I'm bro. always on another side <laughs> than y'all, bro. Y'all, what do y'all you think about? Because you're a citizen. Y'all are nuts, you bro. You got in tune with y'all your Y'all are really nuts. All that, feel me? You y'all would really chakras. rather walk in yes. on your wife, yes. who you said vows with, yes. who your family saw I would rather saw that for the... one night and then get it over with. Fuck this. You bitch, will not boy. get over with. Bro, life goes on. Yeah. Life fucking goes on. Yeah. For life... 20 years, if my wife had a child with another nigga and look me in my eyes and say, oh, yeah, this is your baby. Oh, my God. But... Named it after me and all that. Life. For 20 years, bro. Right. for I too for 20 years. Right, crazy. But, but keep this in mind. What if she didn't know for real, though? No. What if no, she was no, not no, sure? No, what if no, she wasn't no, sure? No, what if she wasn't no, no. sure? I'm too fucking you, we don't know. You could then not know. No, no you don't bro, know. If you were fucking both at the same time, you wouldn't know. How do you, how do you, I hate how niggas, bro. How do you not know that? How you could be fucking know? two niggas at the same time, bro. Wait, so you don't, so, so you cheated on me and you don't. But what if we wasn't official? What if we wasn't official to the kid? What if we wasn't official to the kid? What if we wasn't official to the kid? What if we were just fucking and that we wasn't official to the kid? You're supposed to divulge that information beforehand. There is a chance this kid cannot be mine. Exactly. So I'm going to be like, okay, let's get the concrete proof. Is this child mine or not? Exactly. Right now, before we waste 20 years All right, cool. of what I could have I'm not been, saying she's not wrong. How much wrong. money I could have saved. I'm not saying she's not wrong. Been. I'm not saying she's not wrong. I'm just saying this is the lesser of two evils for me. Because my thing is this. At that point, after 20 years, I have developed something deeper with that child. I hear By, by yeah. force. Yeah. I was kind of forced into this forced situation. Into, okay, forced, but bro. you won't act like you didn't enjoy it just because it was about, because you didn't. Yeah, I, had to, I, I, I was still forced to do it, bro. I learned to deal with it. Yo. You didn't learn to deal with it. You Yo. thought it was your child, so you but treated it as you should have. It's you, not. You treated the child as you should have, it's as not. your son like, or daughter. Bro. But look, it's not, the and, the it's not, and the woman knew this. She did not divulge this information. So she's trying. Trash, yes, she's trash for holding that. She's trash for fucking my life up, nigga. That's not fucking your that life. That is up. fucking my what life if, up. What if it's you dead ass your first child? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you put everything on pause for this kid. You switch your that's life that's up. Your own fault. But bro, how? what the fuck? Does, you know how many people do how? that? Sacrifice for their child, bro? Switch their whole life up because they're having a child? Like I said, it's like he said. You develop something with the kid. It's deeper than that. It's deeper but than it was deeper forced deeper upon me. That's not yo, bro. Yo, that's a good, it, bro. Look, as, that's I'm yo. a good human at the end of the day. So if a girl tells me this kid is mine, I'm going to take care of exactly. it. Because I'm a good person. Exactly. That's the responsibility of me. Yep. There's no questions asked. This is what comes with the territory. But now... You did not tell me this this kid was mine. For 20 years. But didn't even give me a chance for to make years. this decision. For 20 I wouldn't years. how you know I wouldn't have minded to take care of somebody else's son. Or just, just deal with you. Just deal with you having a baby. You would just have been a girl that has a kid. That's regular shit. Niggas is out here having girls dating people with kids. Real but shit. Niggas you love me and said this is my kid. Forced it upon me. And then we have to drag this out for 20 years. 
<laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. Like niggas is not niggas is not picturing that in their bro, head. Bro, I, I see it, and it's crazy. It's crazy. You don't see that with your wife, nigga. You know, it's that's, crazy. It's Listen, a different man. thing when you marry that woman. I I think I'll be able to very 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 easily get you over that than my kid not being mine. That's just me. Yo, that's. I feel like we should just end it over yeah. for that, bro. I mean, obviously we got to agree to disagree, but I mean, I just think it's nuts. I just think it's nuts. <laughs> Cause dick in the mouth and the pussy is crazy to me, but um, moving Black. forward, I don't even know how much time we, we don't got. got. We don't got much time left, bro. Black uh, people stop going no more. One, one more, bro. One more. If, I'm, um, I'm, sh- you got me hot. I'm, I'm done. Thanks. Um, I'm done. all right. So let's uh go with this one. Um, does your mom come before your wife? Since we were talking about wives, let's just. Throw it <laughs> does your mom come before your wife? I love my mother with all my heart. She is my. Heart and soul, Absolutely. but when I get married, it is not going to be the case. Exactly. I mean, it, she's still my heart and soul. Yes, but like another part that I think, like, is not above my wife. <laughs> I think my mom would actually want me to put my wife first. I would like. I, I don't like for me like, like. And this whole step, this all stems from that video. I'm yeah. assuming of the, the, the girl. Yeah, it was staged. It seemed very staged mm-hmm. of the girl, um, basically cursing out the mom for sitting in the front seat when yeah. she was like getting it, to the back. First of all, just sidebar, if my mom and my shorty is arguing about a seat, y'all yeah, can both get yeah, out the car. Yeah, y'all both both I, 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 Y'all both yeah, get both out the car and drive away. What, what, made the, what made the video interesting, though, was that in the video, even though it was said, shorty was saying that was her car. That's another point. So, so in that sense, she still is corny. That is very, very. You could just hop in the back. Seat, exactly. Y'all going to say that is still very, very corny. But if that is her car she and she wants to sit in the front of her car, I can't really blame her, yeah. but it's just still corny. Yeah, Because, yeah, yeah. again, it's not that deep. It is a seat. And, again, I, I think my wife will come before my mom. Yeah, your mom should never come, um, come before your wife. Bro. Yeah. yeah, I feel like you you made vows to that woman. Like, yeah, your saying. mom is going to be your mom regardless. You regardless. Know? like Regard- Yeah, that's my thing. Um, I actually don't have You Know What I Hate. I didn't think about it. I kind of forgot about it. it yo, bro, after that, would you rather? I'm, I'm I think I hate your that. takes today. That's I what hate I hate. Takes, I hate your takes I today, hate nigga. <laughs> Somebody's going to take this shit. podcast to the next level. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're going to be taking any kids that's not yours. you Russell Wilson, nigga. All right, cool. I'll be Russell Wilson, but Bro, it's okay at least my shorty was Listen, it's okay. for me during the time it period. It is okay to take care of another nigga's child if you know exactly what's happening, what's going on, and you made that decision to do that. But if you are, you know what? No, I'm not, I'm not getting to it again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know what? This has been the Lunchroom Podcast. This is episode what? Like 19? That's it. 19. Mo is smacked. I'm not smacked. I'm just taking this podcast to a whole nother level. We'll catch y'all next week. Dude.